Go to the tools panel and finish photo and set the paintbrush tool. Set a color, maybe red, green, etc. And then go to the brushes panel and you'll find that in the view menu, studio and brushes. And go to the right side menu. And you can see there's a number of options. The one I'm going to go for is new round brush. See there, new round brush. And it just creates a round brush. That's it. However, what you can do, you can double click it and you can edit it. So you can see now you've got the editor. There's a number of features. So you've got here the general tab where you've got the size. Now you might want it slightly bigger than that. You can actually apply it as you use, so you can just see it there. You can always undo, of course, just get rid of it. You can also remove here, you've got here, don't set wet edge. But for some weird reason, it actually seems to display a wet edge. So set wet edge, and then you get it just like that, if you want that. Not so why it does that. However, now of course in this case, rotation is not gonna be much use, but you can do various other things, like here. You can reduce the shape, and you can see what happens. You end up with more like a lips design, so you can see that. Well, now of course, you can rotate. So you can create quite a few variations with the round brush. And also you can modify the spacing. So you can see there, you can get them very, very close. So you create a nice sort of flowing design like that. What you can also do is you can go modify like this hardness. You can sort of see there, you can change that. Some work actually best when you maybe the shape is slightly different so you can see it more obvious and you can create some nice blurry effects as well as blurry effects that way. So there's great features there. Now what you can also do is you can set dynamics and you can change the size jitter. You can see some slight variation. You can see the, the actual ellipses there. And you can also modify that so you can actually have the shape jitter sort of vary. So you can create some interesting sort of way. It sort of just changes, creases, decreases, etc. as it goes across. Also, you've got flow jitter as well, so you can modify that. That will add some additional. And all these can be changed to work with pressure, random, etc. angle. Sometimes the more useful one is the one that it selects, like pressure for size jitter. And you can vary it even more. Click here and you can just change it to your heart's content with that. Now, what you can also do, you've got rotation jitter. Just rotate that and again more useful obviously when you've got a elliptical design than if you went for the standard if you went for a shape just round it's not going to be much use but you can see the design there and you can create some very interesting designs like that also you can add some scattering into it so again as you do that you can see it just spreads out across there also you can scatter in the y as well so it just spreads out so you can fill rapidly the entire image also, you've got down here, hue jitter, saturation jitter, and luminosity. So you can see you get some variety there. And again, you can rapidly just go over there and fill the entire design like that very quickly with that. And of course, you could do the same if it was circular as well. You can go back to general, and then you can say space and make it even more intense. Create a variety of different designs that way as well. Also, you've got, you got texture. And I've done other videos on texture and sub brushes, so I'm not gonna go through those here, but you can also add additional round as well. So if you go there, let's just go back, make the shape more like a sort of circular design. You can also go in over here and say, add round there, and you can add another, you can see you've got another round one. However, what you do, you can select that. So you select that and you can edit that as well. So you can create some variations on that. And as you change that, you notice what happens, changes over here. Now, the range of stuff you get is not so great. Obviously, there's no sub brush, sub brush, sub brush all the way down. It's just general dynamics and texture. So you can change that. You can modify the size there. And again, hardness, you can make it more blurry. Accumulation, again, more blurry. Spacing, for some weird reason, you can't change the spacing for that one. I'm not certain reason why, but that's the way obviously they've worked it. The flow, obviously you can reduce the flow, make it again disappear. Lots of them sort of more like fading, but there's variations in those as well. And also the shape, you can change that. And you can see again, if you go increase the size there, you can see again, you get these sort of streaks going across there with this, if you decrease this, that shape. So you can go that way or go that way. So I think that creates quite a nice. And again, exact same, you can rotate it. So you can decide, you know what, Got that. 
And also, of course, you can do exactly the same. Size jitter, so you can make it more varied in terms of how the, that displays. Scattering, you can make that in the X and the Y. Also got rotation jitter, so you can have it scatter in different ways. And you've still got a huge jitter as well. So you can use that and make that vary as well. And you can see the colors change there. And of course, you've got size jitter there, so you can make it vary as well. There is a lot of variation in this to create some quite unique brushes. But of course, you can also add another one. You've just got one there. It doesn't have to be just one. And also you've got options here for other things. You've got blending, you've got arrays, and you create some interesting where it cuts away from it. Instead of actually blending, it goes there. And also you can vary these as well. Sometimes I don't think they have such a great uh, effect, but sometimes they do. Sometimes I do, so uh, it's worth, I just keep it like that. But you can always say, add another round. And you can see again, you get this, and you can get, click there, and you can edit that as well. So again, do exactly the same. Reduce the size, if you want. You can change rotation, shape. So you can create a variety of different sizes. Again, you can't change the spacing. Not really certain why. I guess there's a reason. Dynamics, size jitter, you can make it vary. And flow jitter and huge jitter as well, and so on and so on. You can see you could add a lot of different complexity, multiple designs, and also you've got texture as well. If you, so even more to actually add if you want to change, add textures as well. And click close. And you could obviously continue to add more and more. I'm not certain if there's a limit. I assume there is a limit. It must be at some point that it will refuse to allow you to add additional ones. And again, you can always at some point just go back and you can see by just changing settings there. And now let's just use it, use an art pad and pen. And now I can apply it very rapidly to create quite an unusual sort of uh, intense, very odd brush that fills the screen with those colors. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.